Welcome to the overview tutorial for Articulation Station. This is the home screen of the app. There are 22 available sound programs. The L, R, and S programs also contain blends, and all the vocalic R's are included in the R program. On the bottom of the screen you'll see these buttons. You can tap the information button for a description of how to use the app. If you tap the video tutorials button, you can access additional tutorials that will help you take full advantage of all the features offered in this app. The data screen button is the one here that looks like a clipboard. This takes you to the saved data screen where you can view student profiles along with any saved scores from their sessions. You will also access group sessions from here. We'll go into more detail with this screen in a minute. Now if we go back to the home screen, you can see the multiple sounds button located here. The multiple sounds activity gives you the ability to shuffle multiple sounds and sound positions in flashcards from any of the 22 available sound programs. Back on the home screen, you will see the settings button. It is always visible, which allows you to change the settings of the app in any of the activities at any time, with the exception of sort by syllables, which needs to be changed before an activity begins. Now that we're familiar with the home screen, let's select a sound program and get started. Let's start with the P sound. Once the card turns over, you can tap the letter to hear a model of the sound. If the child or adult you are working with has a difficult time saying the sound, tap the light bulb icon for quick tips on how to teach the sound. When you are ready, tap the back arrow to return to the activities. There are six activities in Articulation Station increasing in difficulty. At the word level, we have flashcards and matching. Let's look at flashcards first. Now we can choose the position of the word we want to practice the sound in. Tap initial for the beginning of words, medial for the middle, and final for the end. Or if you would like to mix it up, you can tap on any combination of sound positions at any time during the activity, unless you are working in a custom list. Once you have tapped on a sound position, you can tap begin or you can modify your list of words by tapping the list icon. Once you've modified your list, you can save your list, or you can tap begin. When the flashcard comes in, have the child say the name of the image that is pictured. Parrot. If the child doesn't know the name, they can tap the picture to hear the name. Parrot. When the child or adult has said the target word, tap the green check to record a correct response and the red X to record an incorrect response. If the child's response is close but not quite right, and you are not sure whether to record the response correct or incorrect, you can open up your settings and switch the scoring with approximations to on. Now you can score an approximate response. You can score each card as many times as you like. If you score something by mistake, you can tap the score above to undo multiple scores. You can also press record, pony, and play back a child's response. When you are ready to end your session, tap the done button and the save score pop-up will appear. To save your score, you can tap on a name you have previously saved scores to, or if you are working with a new child, you can tap add name to enter the new child's information. So let's add Ellie. Since this is her student profile, you can also add her picture, the email address we want to send scores to, her birthday, and notes. We'll just tap Done. Now we'll select Ellie, and you can see we have the option to save the audio recordings from the session. And since Yes is selected by default, we're ready to save. Saving brings you back to the data screen where you can view the scores for the session you just completed. You can see Ellie's name is highlighted in red on the left and the scores for the session we just completed are at the top of the screen on the right. If we tap the session we just finished, it will take us to a screen with more session details. Here you can see which words were correct, approximate, or incorrect for the session. You can listen to saved audio recordings or view notes taken. You also have the option to email this information or print it if you have an AirPrint enabled printer. You may repeat the entire activity by tapping the repeat all button, or you may repeat only what was missed in the session by tapping the repeat missed button. 
Now let's go back to the main data screen. When you tap a student's name, their scores will appear in the box on the right. Here you will notice that by default, the scores are sorted by date. But by tapping the buttons at the top, you can sort the scores by sound, score, percentage, past, or notes. You can also email all the scores on this list by tapping the email button. All the data from all your sessions will be included in the email. You can view student profiles by tapping on the little i next to the name. You can edit a profile by tapping on the edit button. We'll go ahead and add a picture in for Sophie. Now we can edit any other information in her profile if we like. Then tap done. When you have more than nine names entered into the application, the names will scroll vertically. Now let's go back to the home screen and look at the rest of the activities. We'll select the P sound again, tap words, and we'll do matching in the final position this time. This is the matching game. To practice, have the child tap a card to turn it over. Then have them say the word of the image pictured, chip. Just like in our other activities, if the child doesn't know the word, they can tap the picture to hear the word. Chip. You may score each card as many times as you'd like. Now let's try to make a match. When you make a match, you can continue scoring that match until another card is turned over. When you are finished, just tap the Done button to end the activity. Let's go back to the P program, select Sentences this time. Here we have Rotating and Unique Sentences. Let's choose Rotating, then Initial, and Begin. Our rotating sentences are set up like carrier phrases, where the sentence stays the same and only the target word changes. Each sentence also has picture prompts. In addition, you will notice that each sentence is loaded with target words, providing the opportunity for much more practice. Have the child repeat the sentence and score their responses. Put the P's in the pink purse. Then have them push the spin button for the next word in the rotating sentence. If the child needs help with a sentence, they can tap the sentence to have it read to them. Put the pants in the pink purse. You can quickly switch to the medial rotating sentence by tapping the medial button and the final rotating sentence by tapping the final button. Or you can switch to the unique sentences by tapping the unique button on the left. Our unique sentences are also loaded with target words but are different every time. You can swipe through these just like the flashcards. You can tap on the card to hear voiced audio. They keep the sheep in the pasture. Score these just as you would any other activity. Let's tap Done and return to the home screen. We'll select the P sound program again, and this time we'll do Stories. From here we can choose Level 1 or Level 2. We'll choose Level 1, Initial, and Begin. Our Level 1 stories are short, often repetitive rhymes, loaded with target words and paired with picture prompts. They were designed to be practiced a line at a time if necessary. You can tap each line to have the story read to you. Penny took her puppy for a walk down the path. Then swipe for the next part of the story. Have the child retell the story and score all their productions of the target words, which are bolded in the story. When you are ready, swipe for the comprehension questions. You can tap the question to have it read to you. What did Penny see taking a bath? When the child has answered, score their productions. Peacock. Parrot. Panda. The You Did It reinforcement will appear at the end of each activity. 
Just like at the sentence level, you can quickly switch to level one stories in different sound positions by tapping the medial button and the final button. Or you can switch to level two stories by tapping the level two button. The level two stories were created with readers in mind, but they are also excellent for auditory bombardment and as conversation starters. Just like the level one stories, they are loaded with target words, which are bolded in the text. To control the audio in these stories, you can tap the story to have it read to you. Philip asked his mom to help him clean up his room. Tap it again to pause or double tap to start from the beginning. Philip asked his mom to help him clean up his room. Score these stories just as you have the other activities in the application. When you are ready, swipe for the comprehension questions. Now that we have gone through the six activities in Articulation Station, let's go back to the home screen and open up our settings. You'll notice in our settings, you can now add custom images if you have Articulation Station Pro or if you have purchased all the sounds in Articulation Station. To add an image, tap Custom Images, then tap Add, then tap the Add Image button, and you'll have the option of taking a photo or choosing an image from your photo library. We'll choose one from our library. After we have chosen our image, all we need to do is type in the name. Record the audio for it. Koala. Enter the number of syllables. Write a sentence for it. Record the audio for the sentence. The koala is cute. Then choose the sound programs we want to save the image to. We'll save it in the K initial and L medial sound programs. Then tap save. Now that we have added our image, let's take a look at it in an activity. Let's go to the K program, then tap words, flashcards, tap initial, tap on our list, deselect all, then select Koala and tap Begin. Now you can see the custom image we added in the flashcard activity. Now let's go back to the home screen and open up our multiple sounds activity. In addition to shuffling multiple sounds and flashcards, we've added the ability to create and save your own custom lists. This is a key feature because it gives you the freedom to create lists that will more specifically meet the needs of the students you are working with. To create a list, tap on a sound program and select the sound position you wish to practice it in. We'll do the P initial, B initial, and M initial. Now you can either tap begin or you can tap the list icon and edit the list. Once you've edited your list, you can tap begin or you can save the list. You can also tap the My List button to access lists you have previously saved. Here you can see some of the lists I have created. From here you can select a list and tap begin, or you can edit your list by tapping the edit button. We'll just tap begin. Now let's go back to the data screen and open up our group session activity. In group sessions, you can select up to six students by tapping the names you want to add. If you have a new student that isn't on the list, tap the Add Name button to enter their name. If you've selected a name by mistake, tap the name again to deselect the name. When you are ready, tap Begin. You can see the names in our group come in at the top of the screen. To begin, select a name and then select the activity you want to practice. Let's do B, Words, Flashcards, Initial, and Begin. When it's the next child's turn, simply tap on their name to select their activity. Let's do the B again. We'll do words, matching this time, in the medial position. The nice thing about the group session feature is each student can work on their own goals at their own pace.
When you are finished, tap the home button, tap done, and you will have the option of saving the scores. And that's the overview of Articulation Station. We hope you'll enjoy using this app as much as we do and find it a valuable tool for use in your therapy sessions.